In this video, I want to show you how to access the demo code so that you can get the most out of this tutorial. Here is the GitHub repository for this Vue.js tutorial. I included a link to this repository in the description of this video. Let's look at all the branches here. For this tutorial, I'm using a Git branch for each view concept and its code demo. For example, when learning view watchers, I created this watchers branch. Let's click it. As you can see, now I'm on branch watchers. You can access the code demo about view watchers in the SRC folder. Let's go back here. If you're interested in view scoped slots, and you can look at the source code here. Now, as you can see, it has different files. I carefully came up with descriptive branch names that clearly indicate the concept or demo covered, making them easily identifiable. I know this may not be the intended way to use Git branch, but I find it convenient to keep track of different topics in my tutorial this way. I think this is a good way for organizing and presenting different concepts clearly. You can easily switch to different branches to explore various view concepts at your own pace. Let's go back to the main branch. Another way to navigate these multiple branches is to use the branch index I created in the readme file on the main branch. So first, make sure you're on the main branch. If you scroll down, here is the readme file. This branch index lists all branches with brief descriptions of what each covers. This branch index acts as a roadmap for you to navigate this tutorial. It is also a good idea to clone my repository and open this project in VS Code. So let's copy this, and then let's go to the terminal. Paste. OK, then let's open this project in VS Code. Code space dot. If you don't have the code command, don't worry. Just open your VS Code and import my project you just cloned. Then you can use this command, git branch dash dash list dash a to list all the available branches. As you can see, here are all the branches. To switch between branches, you can use this git switch command. So for example, Let's go to watchers. Look at the lower left corner of VS Code. Now we're on branch watchers. As you can see, the code changes in the app. To start my project, first execute npm install to install all the dependencies. So make sure you have this node modules in your project. Then you can start my project by using this command, npm run dev. OK, then press command and click this URL. Then you can see the UI 
in your favorite browser. In my case, it is Chrome. OK. Let's go back here. If you cannot remember those git commands, there is a shortcut in VS Code. Just click this branch name here. And here, you can see all the branches. So for example, let's go to view scoped slots. OK, as you can see, now I'm on branch view scoped slots. How convenient it is. VS Code makes things much easier. Your feedback is valuable to me. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions about this tutorial series, please feel free to open an issue in this GitHub repository. Or you can leave a comment below the video. If possible, please give a star to this GitHub repository, Learn View 3 with Bingyang. I really appreciate that. OK, I hope now you have a better idea of navigating between different branches for different view concepts. See you in the next video.